Here are some features in Perplexed AI that may be useful for referential activities. So first, of course, you can use Perplexity to do a research about any stock or even cryptocurrency. So for example, I want to do a research about, let's say, the Tesla stock. I can write the name of the stock, which is TSLA, or just uh, write the name of the company, Tesla, followed by stock. That's a keyword that is very important. And you can use either the regular search or deep research, but I think the regular search is good enough. And here for the model, it's up to you. Honestly, any model is fine. But if you want to get a deeper uh, thinking, then you can use the reasoning models. But then again, it is optional. I think the regular model is just enough. And also you can enable social if you want to get some insights from forums or what people say on social media. And you can enable a finance option as well. And you can send a message and just wait for perplexity to generate the answer based on your query. So it is giving me this chart. And by the way, this option or this feature is only available as far as I know, it is only available for the US stock products. So if you are trying to find the stock price of a company in your country that is not US, and there is a good chance that you won't see this. So as far as I know, it is only available for people that live in the US, actually stock from the US, not people in the, that live in the US. Uh, I think anyone can access this, but only US stock product. Now, uh, at the bottom here, you'll see some insights about the stock, like the current performance, the a risk assessment, the price, and some other news that might be related to the stock. So I think uh, these pieces of information could be very useful for anyone that is trying to invest on this product. And you can click more about Tesla and it will reveal even deeper insights about the stock. So there are some insights that honestly I don't understand, but if you are doing uh, investment day to day, I think you are going to find this tool to be extremely useful. And also, uh, another way you can access uh, that kind of menu is by navigating to the finance menu right here and you'll see an, a general overview of the US market or cryptocurrency. So it is also available in perplexity. Like for example, I want to do a research about General Motors. Hit enter. And it will do research based on my keyword, even though I didn't mention anything about stock, but it knows that I started the query from the finance menu. And therefore, my request must be related to finance and stuff like that. So that is the answer. And uh, also, you can use this unique feature in Perplexity called Spaces. So if you go to Space, uh, you can create a custom instruction or custom space. And here you can specify that you want to do a, a research about uh, stock or finance or cryptocurrency. I actually have a video on how you can use this feature to analyze if a crypto product is real or, or just some scam that you should avoid. I think I have made that uh, in the past. You can check it out on my channel. But uh, you can also just use a template that was provided by Perplexity if you are not very good at prompting. So you can hover above the spaces menu and then go to templates. And here you can click finance. And there you go. So there are some finance stuff that you can do. And I want to try maybe, uh, let's try, let's try stock screener. How about that? And let's say I want to screen the stock of Apple. Hit enter. And it will use its own custom instruction and will analyze my request, analyze the market, all the content that is related to Apple as a company, and will give you the answer in just uh, less than one minute usually. So I don't know what model that is being used here. It seems to be reading lots of documents, which I, I think is going to be very useful if you want to get a more accurate data. And there you go. And what's unique about this space menu is that you can actually, sorry, this template can be duplicated as a space on your perplexity account. So I'm going to show you how uh, you can uh, duplicate that. So let's go back here. And here uh, you can click use this template. And now this template is becoming your space. You can click the context menu and you can customize or modify the prompt if you want to. 
and you can access this space by navigating to spaces and then click the space that you just created or duplicated from template so those are just some uh things that you can do with perplexity especially related to your financial and investment activities whether it is stock or cryptocurrencies so that's basically it i hope you find this video to be useful and i'll see you on my next video have a great day